welcome back to a new vlog. It's Christmas week. <laughs> I can't believe how quick this month has gone. Um, I've got a little confession. It's actually about four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> but I did want to start the vlog because it is a Sunday. But today has just been so busy. Um... I didn't get up till about 10 o'clock, had a nice lay-in, well I say a nice lay-in, I didn't actually go to bed until like 2 o'clock this morning because I was editing today's two videos that I put up, um, so I technically had normal amount of sleep but it was just late getting up, um, and then got up, cleaned, spritzed the kitchen, um, did another load of washing, tried to keep Jess out of the tree, it's not working, still, I don't think she'll ever learn. Um, I've had family, um, here today, um, well, first time my dad came, my dad was going to do something to the boiler, but he needs something to do it, to be able to do it, so... He's going to come some point, he's got two weeks off from Tuesday, so he's going to come some point in that two weeks um, to do it for us. Then I had family come, um, my auntie, uncles, things like that, came from, they live away, to exchange presents and stuff, so had a nice afternoon. Um, then me and Chris have just sat had a nice bowl of ready break and then I've just took him to work and this little terror Jess what you doing she's in a very playful mood today I'm not quite sure why but um tonight I'm actually really not sure what to do I think I'm probably just gonna sit and binge on some Netflix Christmas films because why not? Um, I did decide on this nail. This was the one that I was unsure about. I did have the um, gems along the cuticle bed. I've taken them off now. I've buffed it over and I'm actually just going to do this pure red glitter because I'm really un I was really unsure on it. I kept catching it in um, like at work and things while I was doing people's hair so I'm just going to go glitter so I'm going to do that tonight my nail stuff is upstairs so I will go get that and do that in a little bit I'll probably sit at my dressing table it's easier let's get this cat out of the tree come on when I decorated the tree last night or redecorated the tree last night there was about 11 or 12 baubles under the tree that I had to put back on. She um she really went to town on the tree this year. But up to now, I'm saying up to now because there's still like at least another week and a half of the of the decorations being up. We've only had one casualty. Whereas last year, I think there was about four or five. So it was one of my new baubles, but it, there's only been one casualty so I'm quite happy the house smells amazing I changed well when I was doing the cleaning I used them as a flora cranberry and orange and then I changed the wax melts cleaned them all out changed them and I put the Cleethorpe's gift company um sweet orange and chili it smells so good <laughs> and what probably does help is I've got a wax melter on this side here. You can see it glow in. And then I've also got one on the TV cabinet down here, this side, I think. Um, so I've got it on both sides of the room and oh, it smells so good. I think I'm going to stick one of my scented tea lights in the kitchen, possibly gingerbread.
So it's a good few hours later. Um, I've actually been a little bit productive. Um, as you can see, I've got a lip on, um, and that is because I filmed a video. Um, I filmed. I turn you. Um, I filmed um, my top tips for surviving this Christmas festive period, um, and I'm hoping to get it edited and put up for tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, for tomorrow. Um, I've also done my nails. I just changed them slightly. I changed this one and put glitter on and changed this one and put, um, like, as you can see, like a shimmer and a little diamond on. Um, so, yeah, had a little bit of a productive night. I also watched um, The Holiday Calendar on Netflix. Um, I actually did that while I was doing my nails. So, um, yeah, I've done that. Um, I'm now, I'm actually going to text Chris first, but I was going to say I'm now going to do tea, but I'm going to check to see what time he's going to be home, because he did say it could be late tonight, with it being literally a couple of days before Christmas, um, with him being a chef, it can be very hectic at this time of year, um, but, I'm, right, we've still got the food shopping to do, we normally do our food shopping on a Monday, which any other week day of the year would be absolutely fine um but tomorrow is the day before christmas eve and i have a feeling that no matter what time we go it is going to be so so busy and we may also not be able to get everything that we need not that we need a lot we just literally need our normal food shopping um and obviously like fresh veg and some extra sausages and bacon to make pigs in blankets because can't have Christmas without pigs in blankets. Um, but I did sort of put to Chris, I don't know whether he will want to, obviously he's been at work tonight, he's had a busy day, whereas I've had quite a relaxing evening actually. Um, I put to him whether he wanted to go at a minute past midnight tonight. I know most of the shops normally don't open until six in the morning but um our local tesco's and i think most of the tesco's and asda's around the uk are opening at a minute past midnight um and i'm actually feeling quite awake to say it's quarter past nine i'm feeling very awake um and i didn't know if to see if chris wants to go obviously when we've had tea and everything because we've got nothing to do tomorrow um one of my aunties is coming tomorrow um but that's not until a bit later on so it wouldn't matter if I didn't go to bed till like two in the morning because well I did that last night um because um I haven't really got to be up but like I say Chris has had a long weekend he's done extra hours he was up earlier this morning as well so it will all depend how tired he is but whether it's tonight or tomorrow we have got tesco's to tackle for the food shopping um but i'm just i just know how stressed like how hectic it is gonna be no matter what time we go um yeah i went on day before Christmas Eve, I can't remember if it was last year or the day before, or the year before, oh my god, oh my god, it was so busy, um, but we need food shopping, so, so good morning, oh that was the video, it is the 23rd, so it's Christmas Eve, um, and I'm just taking a little look, just, me and Chris have braved town this morning, I mean, for really coffee um the bank people are running around like nutters sorry if you can't really hear me i'm a bit squeezy um but got the family coming in a little bit i think i'm probably gonna do some baking later and we've still got tesco's to brave it's been a productive day so far oh i cleaned the oven as well yeah, productive day so everyone um Technically, it's Christmas Eve. 
it is about seven or eight minutes past midnight. Um, but I just wanted to say sorry for not recording anything today at all. Um, but we went to town into the butchers, um, as you saw. Um, I picked up my sausage meat, I'm gonna make some sausage rolls. Um, we then had a bit of a chill night. We've um, downloaded Now TV. Um, and we've been watching Hawaii Five L. Just been trying it out because you get a week's free trial. So we were just looking to see what was on there because there's some films and things like that on there as well that aren't on Netflix and Prime and stuff. So we had a chill night, watched that, and ordered to take away because obviously we hadn't been shopping. We braved Tesco's at about half eight, twenty to nine, and I think we must have hit it right because honestly when we got there, pulled straight into a car parking space, um, we managed to get a self scanner to go around and scan and shop as you go. Um, and I think we were in and out within like an hour. I think we were home before about 10 to 10. So really, really easy. But when we were coming out, the car park was starting to get busy again. Um, so I think we just hit it at the right time. Um, but we did a full, full shop, um, stocked up. The only thing we didn't get was cat litter. <laughs> They'd run out of cat litter and pets at home had obviously already shut. Um, and Christmas pudding. Not that that bothers me, but there was no Christmas puddings at all, apart from like really, really boozy ones. Um, so yeah, no Christmas pudding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so then I came home, um, put all the shopping away. Um, I've um, bought some bits to do, obviously baking some sausage rolls, well, making some sausage rolls tomorrow, I've already got my sausage meat. Um, and I think I'm going to attempt, which I haven't tried them before, uh, I'm going to attempt to make macaroons. So, we'll see how that goes tomorrow, I'm going to attempt that tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night, no, tomorrow, or today, technically, I'm at work. Yeah, I'm going to come home. Um, up presents I need to go to my mum and dad's I need to try and get cat litter as well because Jess will need because I used the last of it yesterday Jess will need cat litter um before I can go like before the shops reopen again so I do need to get cat litter at some point tomorrow and then I'm gonna come home bake have a nice bath relax um sort of whiz the hoover around, freshen up a bit, but I don't need to do too much because I did do a good deep clean the other day. Um, and then chill out, um, watch a Christmas film. I don't really need to do any prep food-wise tomorrow, it's only the two of us. So I get to spend it doing some bacon uh, tomorrow night. So yeah, sorry there's been a lack of content today, but there will be some more content tomorrow. But for now, I need to get to bed because I have work in um, probably about eight and a half hours. So I need to get some sleep, remember to set an alarm, and it's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. Where has this month gone? I cannot believe it is the 24th already. Oh my god, it is early. Well, I say it's early, it's, it's pitch black still outside so it feels early, but it's about 10 past 7. I am up. The puddy cat is fed. She is purring away because she is eating her dinner. Um, I am going to get ready for work because I have got a few hours at work this morning. Um, and then I'm going to come home. Chris desperately needs a haircut. 
I swear they he always gets this to last, but he needs a haircut. Um, I then I'm going to see my mum and dad because for the first time in 28 years, I'm not seeing my mum and dad on Christmas Day. We're going to see them this afternoon. Hopefully, see my sister if she's home. But um, I know she's working slightly later than me, and Chris is also at work tonight. So obviously, depends depends what time he gets home. Um, so I've now finished work. Well, I finished work a while ago, actually. But I finished work now for Christmas. I have just left Tesco's, yes, and apparently I'm a mad woman for going to Tesco's on Christmas Eve, but when we went to Tesco's last night, there was a few bits they didn't have, so I needed to go to Pets at Home for cat litter, because they didn't have any cat litter, weird thing to run out of, and they had no Christmas pudding, um, and like I said yesterday, <laughs> I don't like Christmas pudding, but Chris does, so I did just pick up a Christmas pud for Christopher. Um, whether he eats it tomorrow or at some other point over the festive period, I picked him up a Christmas pud. I also picked up, um, it sounds really strange if I can say this now because this will go up after Chris has opened his presents, but I've just been and bought some whole milk. Now, because of my asthma, um, I have to be careful with what dairy products I eat um, and whole milk is one of the things that sets off my asthma but for Chris's Christmas present I have bought him um, a milk frother to make hot chocolates, lattes, things like that to make your hot foamy milk um, and it says it works best with obviously thicker, fuller um, milks, so I, we normally have skimmed milk at home, which I know some people are going to be like, that's, you know, um, but I just went and picked him up a whole milk, so we can make some lattes and things like that tomorrow. Um, I also picked up a cheeky couple of melts, um, which were the, they were selling off some of the Yankees. Um, in the Yankee home ones, in the home inspiration ones, um, and it was the pumpkin chai latte. Um, so I picked up some of those, but this is now like my favorite time of Christmas. Don't get me wrong, I love Christmas Day, I love Boxing Day, spend it with the family, but Christmas Eve, um, I've dropped Chris off at work. I've been to see my mum and dad, they, I've given them their presents, I've spoke to my sister, so I haven't had a chance to see her yet, but I think I'll be seeing her tomorrow. But now, I'm going home, I'm going to bake, sorry, just going under a bridge, I'm going home, I'm going to bake, um, and I'm also going to have a nice bath, relax, and get into my new jammers that mum and dad have got us. I haven't opened them yet, so I'm not even 100% sure that they are pyjamas, but for the last 28 years they've been pyjamas, so I think I've got new pyjamas and slippers. Um, by the way, I did a bit more festive makeup today, I went with um, slightly heavier natural contour eye. Um, just something a bit more cool toned and then I went with a black winged, eye, winged liner and then the other day while I was um, in Superdrug with my sister I picked up the collection Glam Crystal in the darker bluey grey which I haven't actually got um, and I just pressed that all over where the liner was and I've got sparkly liner going on um, I did have a red lip on but it's pretty much come off it wasn't a liquid lip or anything like that so that has come off so I was looking a little more festive I'm wearing my holidays are coming Coca-Cola um, Christmas t-shirt 
I had a very nice easy day at work um, went pretty quick um, and now like I say I'm just on my way home I'm gonna put all the Christmas lights on and do some baking and then have a bath and chill out because it's Christmas Eve okay so um, I've been home a little while now I've got my side set up for baking I've done some washing um, I've actually put some washing in the washing machine uh, washing up I mean um, my sister's just been brought our Christmas presents oh I don't look good facing this way um, and I think I'm going to start with macaroons I've never made them before but I do want to try them um because I do quite like almondy flavours and things like that and I think I'm gonna do oh my god I like I've got some right circles under my eyes I think I'm gonna do vanilla and white chocolate so vanilla in the actual macaroons and then white chocolate ganache in the centre um but no they will be quite nice I think and the thing is I'm not sure what colour to do I have to go red because it's festive or to go like pale yellow because it's vanilla um i'm not sure um but i've got everything set up i just need to plug in my electric hand whisker because there is no way i'm whisking egg whites by hand um i'm going to do this then i need to take actually i'm going to take it out now i need to take out some butter so I'm going to make some gingerbread and I need to take out the pastry because I am going to make some sausage rolls. So we want, that's the one for the turkey. We want butter because it needs to be at room temperature, softened. Um, and that will give me time to get, give these time to sort of cool down. Um... I'm, I think I'm going to do macaroons, gingerbread and then sausage rolls because then I'm not putting meat in and you're getting the smell from the meat and then yeah just you know um, so yeah let's let's try this out <laughs> I've never tried it before so let's see how we go so as I said this was my first time doing macaroons, but I've learned something. When it says leave a small gap, it means leave a big gap because, because this is the first tray that I piped and they've started, I've obviously not left enough of a gap. So I don't know how many of these are salvageable. I did have a little slip there, but I did do a second one and obviously left more room because I saw how the other batch was going. So I'm hoping that these will be okay. There won't be a lot of macaroon, but... <laughs> but I'm going to make something that I know how to make next, but I wanted to try it. Um, you never know, unless you try. I mean, some of these may be salvageable. I may be able to still shape them but I know they do puff up when they bake so when they say leave a small gap they mean leave a good centimeter to two centimeters um, because this gap in the middle this row here in the middle hasn't obviously joined I left a slightly bigger gap there because I did like five there turned it round did another five there and it's the gap in between each of the ones that I've piped that apparently so I've been busy um I will show you the macaroons in a minute but um I've got about five minutes before the sausage rolls come out so I thought I would open my Christmas Eve presents does anyone else get Christmas Eve presents we always have like I said for 18 years Toys then slippers <laughs> and should be oh it's lying 
pajamas. It's got Timon, Thumber, and Simbra. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Um, let me show you the macarons. Um, just to warn you, you're probably not going to be able to hear me. The washer's spinning and the dryer's on. But, I'm more than happy. So, we've got 25 Christmas tree cookies. And these are all my macaroon rounds. I'm impressed. They've firmed up as they should and just a little bit chewy on the inside. Not all of them are the best shape, but... Um, I'm sure there'll be some that I can pair up and get out of that. This was the, <laughs> this is the giant one that got stuck together. But um, I'm sure I can figure something out and get some um, out of that. Sausage rolls are puffing up very, oh they've fallen over, are puffing up very nicely. Um, they've just got probably about three minutes left so baking is done let's go out of here baking is done washing and drying is very nearly done um yay <laughs> um it's christmas eve good morning everyone it's the 25th merry christmas um i know i didn't really finish the vlog last night all I did, I got a text from Chris while I was laying in the bath saying he was finishing work on time. So I got up, did, got out of the bath, did tea, blow dried my hair, I went to bed. Um, ready for the big man coming? <laughs> no, yeah, I had an, an early night-ish. Um, and I am up. Chris is still in bed, but that is normal. But I am up. All the Christmas lights are on um, and I just wanted to say hope you all have a very Merry Christmas if you don't celebrate I hope you have a nice day <laughs> um, and that's all that's all for today just spend it with family and enjoy it I'm just waiting for Chris to get up and then we are gonna open some presents but before then I'm going to get myself a latte I think. Nice caramel latte, sit and relax and then I can pop the books first. Hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.